fit into four of the five presentation workshops. And someone must have known what I was going to talk about today, because when I was upstairs talking about the food strategy, this is one of the things we were talking about. So what I'd like to show you now is what we have been doing in my ward locally and the practical work and how we are connecting and how we are um, discussing. So, as a new city councillor in 2010, I wanted to know what services were being offered in the ward and what services we were missing. I knew already that my local faith groups offered many programs to residents beyond their congregation, either providing them themselves or through other community groups like Girl Guides, Boy Scouts, Child Care, clothing drives, food banks, just to name a few. What my office did is we compiled the list of 20 different faith groups meeting in my ward, which is Ward 13. That was our first step. It was at that point that I got involved in Faith in the City as we organized our first symposium, which was two years ago. It seemed like such a perfect match, Faith in the City, faith in the community. What we then did with my office was we sent out a questionnaire asking many questions, finding out about what programs were being offered, who were they available to, and a little bit about the actual facility. We also included in this questionnaire a question about a vulnerable list. Did the faith groups have a list of vulnerable, vulnerable people? But also important, did they have another list of volunteers who would go and help those vulnerable people in times of an emergency, like the ice storm and power failure we had at the end of 2013? So my goal is to put the faith groups in touch with each other, either because they are doing similar programs and probably don't know that they are, or because residents are looking for programs which aren't being provided but are needed. I'm English. I held a tea party. I asked the 20 groups to come and meet with me. We had eight groups come out. I thought that was amazing. And we spent a couple of hours talking, finding out what each, part, each group was doing, finding out did they know that people down the street were doing similar ideas. And I was thrilled to find out that some of my groups are already meeting once a month and already working together. So I learned something new that day. So once we gathered the, the answers from this questionnaire, questionnaire, I had students who were working in my office from the University of Toronto Religion in Public Sphere program. They are compiling a newsletter for me. We're gathering the information we received. So here we have a map showing the religious groups who did contact me, who did answer the questionnaire. And on the other side, it will show in this legend what programs they're offering. Also in this newsletter will be complete information. So if a resident wants to know, or a religious group wants to know who's doing a food bank, they can look and see who's doing a clothing drive, who's doing childcare. This newsletter I plan to send to all my religious groups, those who haven't answered the questionnaire, they may actually answer the questionnaire because they probably want to be in my newsletter and it will also be available to, uh, to our residents so they can know what programs are out there. The other group I've got to know recently is the group called Creating Resilience to Extreme Weather, or as we know them, CREW. They're working with communities and with faith groups to provide that critical help for vulnerable people before the official first responders arrive. If you're not working with CREW and you're interested in that, please contact my office or just look on their website and see how to contact them. So what I see moving forward, what I see us able to do to move faith into the city, into our communities, either city councillors or faith leaders, bring together the faith groups in each of our wards to work with them throughout the year to support the ongoing programs we have, start new programs which are needed in our neighborhoods, and build that necessary support for also the vulnerable people across our city. So that just gives you a little insight as to what we are doing in my ward. I'm encouraging you to either 
step up and do it in your area or go to your city councillor as well. I'm happy to provide them with templates. Yes, it took a few hours to put this information together, but as we heard upstairs, people want to know what someone else is doing. What, are your, what is your neighbour doing? Are we doing the same thing? Can we help each other? So that in a nutshell is what I've been working on for the last five years. And I want to thank my faith groups in my area who've helped me compile this information. And as you see, we still have some more groups to, to add to our list. So thank you for listening, thank you for staying, and thank you for being here today.